In this video, we will look at solving problems involving the perimeter of rectangles. You may remember that the perimeter of the rectangle is the distance around. A width, a length, another width, and another length. In other words, the perimeter is equal to two widths plus two lengths. We'll set these problems up often with two equations, one for the perimeter and one for the area. The tip will be to solve the perimeter equation for a variable and then substitute it into the other equation. For example, in this problem, we have a rectangle which has an area of 54 and a perimeter of 30. If we have widths and length, we know that the width times the length, multiplying those together, will equal the area, or 54. We also know the perimeter is 30. The perimeter is two widths plus two lengths will equal 30. My suggestion to solve these is to solve the perimeter equation for a variable. Let's solve it for w, starting by subtracting 2l from both sides. This gives us 2w equals 30 minus 2l. Dividing both sides by 2, dividing every term by 2, gives us w equals 15 minus l. If the w is 15 minus l, we can replace the w in the other equation with this expression. 15 minus l times l equals 54. We can start solving by distributing the l, giving us 15l minus l squared equals 54. We could now solve this equation by either the quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring. Let's move everything to the same side of the equation so we can get a better idea of what's happening. We don't like the l squared to be negative, so let's move everything to the right. We'll subtract 15l, and we'll add l squared. Putting things in order with the l squared first, we have l squared minus 15l plus 54 equals 0. You might notice that this equation can factor quite nicely. Let's use factoring to solve it. l minus 9 and l minus 6. Once it's factored, we can set each factor equal to 0. l minus 9 equals 6, and l minus 6 equals 0. Whoops, set each factor equal to 0, sorry. Adding 9 to both sides tells us our first option for l is 9. Adding 6 to both sides tells us the second option for l is 6. We still need to find the width, and this comes from that width equals equation we solved on the other problem, or the other equation. The width is equal to 15 minus l. If the length is 9, that means the width must be 6. Or if the length was 6, the width would be 15 minus l, or 15 minus 6, which means the width would be 9. What's interesting about this is we either have a 9 by 6 rectangle, or a 6 by 9 rectangle. Really, that's the same rectangle turned on its side, so we actually only have one solution. The shorter side is the width, so we will say we have a 6 meter by 9 meter rectangle. In part 2 of this video, we'll take a look at a second problem where we're given the perimeter and the area, and again are asked to find the dimensions of the rectangle.